So, to graph this one, what we want to do first is solve for our variable, right? Don't let the inequality sign fool you. Just put it as an equation, let's solve. Put it as an equation, let's solve. There you go. Next thing. Please, please, please remember the distributive property. Whenever you have a number outside of parentheses, that number is being multiplied to everything inside of parentheses. That means I have a negative 2 times x and a negative 2 times 3. A negative 2 times x is a negative 2x. A negative 2 times 3 is a negative 6. Okay? Now we need to solve a two step equation. Remember, we always undo what's happening to our variable. First thing we always undo addition and subtraction. So my variable is being subtracted from 6, so I need to add 6. That cancels out to 0, equals a negative 10. Okay, now I look at it and say, all right, what is my negative 2 doing? My negative 2 is multiplying by my x. So to undo multiplication, I need to divide. Therefore, I have x equals a positive 5. Now notice, ladies and gentlemen, I divided by a negative number. And what I tell you when you divide by a negative number? We've got to flip that sign. So instead of writing what my original inequality sign would be, I need to now flip it. Okay, does everybody see that point? So now we just need to create a graph. Now you guys have graphs, but I don't. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, pick three points. First one is you have to pick your, your point where your graph is at five. So I do that, I make a nice big open circle. And I guess, yes, I'll, I'll keep doing the same, Rosalind. The next two, are there any, any other open dots you want to? But make them smaller. The main one is this, because that's what you're going to be graphing from. So now we just plug those, um, put these points in and see if they work. So I have three, because that's my second dot, which I chose. You can pick any dot you want to. So I say three is less than five. Is that true or false? Uh, uh, yeah. Remember, our rule was whenever you divide or multiply by a negative number, you have to flip the sign off. And I can show you, I can show you the reason why I'm after this. So three is less than five, is that true or false? True, right? So we shade in that little dot. Then we say five is less than five. False, right? So the dot remains open. Six, less than five, false. Dot remains open. Remember, now it's all numbers, three less than five. So four is less than five. 3.5, 3.75, 3.33. Instead of drawing all these dots, we can just draw parallel this way. Okay? So what that says is all numbers that are less than five make this true. <coughs> Except for five. Make sense? Mm -hmm. 